Here's a day in the life of Classic Game Room. I spent the morning working on my Disco 8-track comic strip and also editing some of the footage together for the review of Twin Hawk on PC Engine as well as a Hori PC Engine controller and those are both looking really good. It was actually one of my first reviews where I filmed straight off the CRT TV as well as using direct feed to show what a kick-ass game Twin Hawk on the PC Engine is. So you'll be seeing that shortly. I also uh, did some paperwork over here at lunchtime, uh, sh shipped out a bunch of the Laser Hypervision album sets that sold on eBay, so thanks to all of you who bought a couple of those. They will be arriving shortly. And uh, there's some goodies that arrived here in space right now, so let's, let's check this out. Because I, I was laughing out loud when I saw the packaging for this one. Billy. Where did you find Tokyo Highway Battle? This looks awful awesome which is like one word awful awful awesome can't wait to play this it was incredible thundering through the neon lit japanese metropolis with 455 horses raging under the hood yes thank you billy from oregon who also sent this which I, i've seen this online i've actually been looking forward to playing this another centuries episode or i've i've really enjoyed all of the another centuries episode games and I've only played the PlayStation 2 ones, so... Thank you very much, Billy, from Oregon. Oh, and let's not forget a little Joe Cocker. That's right. His hair is awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to be listing the rest of the Lord Carnage books, hardcover comic books that were released in um, uh, 2014. And I've still got quite a few... Classic Game Room Rise and Fall of the Internet's Greatest Video Game Review Show. This was the original film I did back in 2007. And uh, we have boxes of uh, undertow DVDs left as well. So, if you've ever wanted one of these, they will be going on eBay shortly. I'll keep you posted. And Lord Carnage as well. With a print. With a signed print. It's a good book. It's the debut of Space Gar. You know I love my Star Wars shirts, but you know what the First Order could use? A little more Lando, and a lot less incompetence. Which is why Tim just hooked this show up with this. Galactic Swagger. With Lando Calrissian. Yes. Tim, thank you. This is... This is remarkable. I love the type font, too. It's such a kick-ass t-shirt. And he sent another Lando shirt, which you'll be seeing in some upcoming reviews as well. But now I am officially rocking the Galactic Swagger. Because Lando is the administrator of Swagger. We all know that. Now this one's pretty exciting. I didn't print very many of these, so there's only a couple, couple dozen left. Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, 150 pages. This is my second um, printed comic book. And I think this one turned out really well. So I will be putting the remainder of these uh, for sale, the first printing versions up for sale on eBay shortly as well. There, there will be a digital version available soon. Ethel, the Cyborg Ninja, which features Jesus the Coked Up Chicken, Errol, nice matte printing. This one turned out really nice. Unfortunately, these came in right as we were closing down the business from last year, but uh, hopefully it will get some new life this year. Here's the ZX Spectrum that I showed you in a video a couple, uh, couple days ago, uh, which will be up and running soon with a new Frame Meister. So thank you to everyone who uh, recommended the Frame Meister. And I have one on order. I've also got some uh, cables coming in to make sure it works right and everything. So. ZX Spectrum Reviews will be starting soon here on Classic Game Room. And uh, once again, thanks to John from Dublin for sending this. This is uh, pretty exciting. Classic Game Room, the shop vac. All of the single disc Blu-rays are gone, and the 
original DVDs, but I still have a bunch of the Laser Hypervision album sets, which are great. This contains the Blu-ray and the DVD for the Best of Classic Game Room, as well as the 2007 film. So you get all of these reviews and more. Including Ninja Golf, that's right, and Seaman, and Shenmue, good stuff. Here it is everyone, this is the beginnings of the new classic game room set, what I'm calling the CGR Ultimate Buyer's Guide set because I'm going to, going to uh, design it uh, to reflect the studio shots that are going to be in that film and a lot of the photography work that I'm going to be doing for it. I'm planning a photo book to go with the film, but I'm shooting it with, uh, with real camera lenses, so lighting is obviously going to be critical, and I'll be putting a lot of sound insulation and stuff around there. And uh, first, filling it with uh, my collection of games, moving them out of the warehouse, condensing my um, floor space a lot, putting some of the arcade games in. Uh, what, what's the first thing I should put in here? What's the first electronic device that should move on to the classic game room set? I know what it is. The question is, do you know? What's the first arcade game or computer that should move into the new classic game room set? There it is. Admit it, you thought it was going to be Truxton, but without Edit Station 1, there could be no classic game room and obsession of Truxton because Edit Station 1 is the brains behind the operation. So, Edit Station 1 is the first thing on set. What's next? What's the next thing I should move on set? I know just the thing. Doom! 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 Knee deep in the dead. Doom! Beyond the game, the first chapter in a classic new space opera. Thanks, Eric. This looks good. Doom! Oh, you're still here! Thanks for watching this day in the life of Classic Game Room. Edit Station 1 is happy to be back, and you'll be seeing a lot of great new game reviews over the next couple weeks. Games like Doom, the new one, Gravity Rush on PlayStation 4, Twin Hawk and Bomberman for the PC Engine, Starfy 3 on the Game Boy Advance, Akari Warriors 3 and Arkanoid on the NES, Freedom Wars on the Vita, and Field Commander on the PSP. Lots of really cool stuff coming up on the show. And as you can see here at Classic Game Room, it's not all just fun and video games. Sometimes there's books about video games. See you soon. Do you want me to read you a page? It's really good. Doom! Doom! Doom, 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 doom! 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 Doom, doom, doom! 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 Could use more pictures. Chapter 10. Doom! If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From... New Jersey! Michael Fernandez! People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver! Woo! EDM! 
Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia. Philip Strabenmuller from Vienna, Austria. Austria. Cue the thunder. Jeff, Captain Dauntless, Briar. Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh, hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, Fighter of Space Bees. Woo. Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana. Nelson. Nelson. Fighters of the future. That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout, Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud, and the party rocking, for... Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular. Will. Will. Will? Will? Will. Will. <laughs>